Hello, uh, I'm Luke from Rapid Direct. Are you confused about insert molding and over molding? In this video, I'm going to explain this to you in details. Uh, what is insert molding? Insert molding refers to the process of placing an insert in a mold, often the, the metal insert, and then over mold it with a thermoplastic resin to create a final pro component. The process eliminates the need for further assembling, thereby reducing the total cost of production. Inserts and can be loaded manually by an operator or automatically loaded by a robot. Uh, when choosing manual or automated insert molding, you had better think about how many insert molding parts you are going to produce. If the quantity is large, the automated insert molding would be a better choice in terms of consistency and efficiency. What's best is insert molding can manufacture parts with outstanding performance. Resins have excellent formability and flexibility, and metals provide good rigidity, strength, and heat resistance. Combining the two material enable the production of complex and sophisticated metal plastic integrated products. In other cases, if you need some certain area of the parts to be electronic conductible, by combined reasons, isolation property and the metal's conductivity, insert molding is the best solution. Each coin has two sides. The major disadvantage of insert molding is the increased complexity of the mold. Compare the common mold design, the designer needs to consider if the strength occurring in the plastic injection would deform or dip, displace the insert. So inserts need to be held in place during the molding process. Designing molds to hold inserts in place correctly is critical. Having explained the insert molding process and its pros and cons, what can we use this technical for? Insert molding is commonly used in broad range of industries, including medical, automotives, consumer products, and electronic components. Common applications include thread screens, spring-loaded clamps, electronic contacts, etc. Uh, now I have discussed the insert molding, let's move to the other part of this video, over molding. Over molding is a multi-step process where one or more components are over top of another part or substrate. Uh, there are two necessary steps in carrying out the over molding process. The first step involves molding and uh, curling substrate that is usually plastic. The second step involves the direct molding of a layer on first layer leading to creating one product. Therefore, over molding has a longer production cycle than the single step insert molding process. With over molding, the process eliminates the need to assemble two separate manufactured components without the need for glues, adheres, and other bonding agents. And this increases the parts durability and also reduces the production time and labor costs. The process allows design flexibility. There are many materials available for over molding projects, such as PEK, ABS, PMMA, PEI, which increases the flexibility of uh, product design. On the other hand, the process can manufacture products of uh, different shapes in one single part, including some conflict, uh, complicated shapes. Overmolding for plastic molded parts also offers aesthetics. The process uh, supports a wide range of thermoplastic resin in different colors. And take the material TPE as an example. It is available in a variety of color and surface finishing, thereby creating uh, products with a beautiful appearance. And their shortcoming of our molding, uh, as mentioned before, our molding, unlike insert molding, is a two-step molding process that accounts for an increased production time and there is a risk of material debonding. If the temperature doesn't reach the uh, optimal melting temperature, the over molded part may run the risk of delamination. So it is essential to use mechanical interlocks to bond the pieces together in such cases. Uh, the cost of the mold is high. Uh, consequently, the process is more suitable for large production than small-scale manufacturing. Having explained the pros and cons of overmolding, uh, what can it be used for? Overmolding can be used to make uh, hardware tools, uh, surgeon devices, everyday house holding items, car trims, 
and cookware. As we approach the end of this video, let me conclude by saying both indoor molding and over molding are great options for manufacturing top quality plastic products. Having watched this video, you may have an idea of injection molding technique you will choose for your products. With that being said, Rapid Direct is your on-demand manufacturing partner. We provide you injection molding service for different materials and can produce both low volume prototypes and high volume parts. You can navigate to our online platform to get your quotations for your project. Also, ensure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel so you can be the first to get notifications on our new videos. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.